Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
divisions. Right. Thanks. Section leaders fall out and collect out of our hearts. Divisions. Counter. March. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's past review. Today you will see five divisions comprised of 375 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is senior recruit Alec Plummer from Danville, Indiana. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the Triple Threat Unit on their sixth week of training, the State Flags Unit on their eighth week of training, and the Staff Unit on their ninth week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division one, three, nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Nicholas Mann. Petty Officer First Class, John McCormick. Petty Officer First Class, Tyler Cousset. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Joshua Jackson from Phoenix, Arizona. Division one, four, zero. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Benjamin Page. Petty Officer First Class, Patrick Hammond. Petty Officer First Class, Anthony Lara. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Jeffrey Head from Clinton, New Jersey. Division one, four, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dana Thomas. Chief Petty Officer Stephen Rebello. Petty Officer First Class Cherry DeLeon. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Emily Beresador from Los Angeles, California. Division 1, 4, 2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Daniel Ortega. Petty Officer First Class Esteban Reyes Feliz. Petty Officer First Class Anthony Spence. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman John Ryer from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Division 1, 4, 5. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Christopher Clemency. Petty Officer First Class Isaiah Covington. Petty Officer Second Class Matthew Grantham. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman James Pitt from San Diego, California. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done.
In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side of this boats and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or to render honors. Today's reviewing officer will receive arrival honors to include a 15 gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Chief of Navy Reserve, arriving.
the guests may be seated. Present arms.
Preset. Arms. The commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders pass through the chain of command. All of this is present for a child in 
Diplomatic, I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence their review. Very well. Commence the review. Aye, sir.
Good morning. I'm Commander Christopher McHenry, Executive Officer of Crew Training Command. On behalf of Captain Froberg, I'd like to welcome all of our friends and family attending this recruit graduation and those watching live around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral John Mustin, Chief of Navy Reserve, and our guest of honor, Force Master Chief Tracy Hunt, Navy Reserve Force. I would also like to acknowledge the staff from our fleet sponsor, Navy Reserve Center, Washington, D.C., sponsoring Division 142. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy commands around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while training here in RTC. Last week, we recognized the 80th anniversary of D-Day. It was 80 years ago that Operation Neptune, which to this day remains the largest amphibious assault in world history, comprised of 5,333 ships and landing craft, emerged from the score of British ports for the overnight journey to the German, German held coast of Normandy. With minesweepers clearing the transit lanes of more than 800 mines, U.S. naval battleships and cruisers, along with Allied naval forces, pounded German targets along the beaches of Normandy to allow ground forces to break through enemy lines and ultimately turn the tide of the war in Europe. D-Day stands as a testament to the bravery of those who fought and countless lives lost in the pursuit of freedom. As you undergo your follow-on training, let the memory of D-Day inspire you to uphold the values of dedication, teamwork, and resilience. Honor the legacy of those who came before you by giving your all in every task, knowing that your training prepares you for challenges both on and off the battlefield. I would like to extend that honor and welcome our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all of our veterans please stand so we can give you a round of applause. The staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors. These sailors before you have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding recruit training, and they have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their friends and family, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet, Navy Boot Camp, Tech Navy Family to learn more about your new Navy family. I would be remiss if I didn't remind you that this Sunday is Father's Day. With that in mind, I would like to recognize all the fathers on the drill deck, those in the stands, and those watching online. Would all of our fathers please stand so we can give you a round of applause. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who would threaten them. I can say with pride that this training group is ready to graduate today. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 375 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more missionary events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in 
recognition of their performance. Division one, four, two, as it is on today. Seaman Naka is doing a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, Sailor. Good morning, Commander. Senior Rock, report. 
Seaman John Ryan, Division 142, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag of accommodation. Seaman Ryan, the Staff of Recruit Training Command, salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual concerts by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Give again another round of applause for these award-winning sailors. Well, I have the distinct honor this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral John Muston, Chief of Navy Reserve. A native of Alexandria, Virginia, he's a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and commissioned in 1990. Muston C. Duty assignments include Command of Expeditionary Strike Group 2, Task Force 29, Commissioning Operations Officer on USS Donald Cook DDG 75, and aboard USS Vincennes CG 49. Affiliating with the Navy Reserve in 2001, Admiral Mustin served as Navy Reserve Carrier Strike Group 2, USS George Washington CVN 73 Strike Group, and Navy Reserve Chief of Operations for operations, plans, and strategy, and strategy at the Pentagon Navy Command Center. His other command tours include Navy Reserve Joint Staff South, Navy Reserve U.S. Forces, Fleet Forces Command, Maritime Operations Center, Greensboro, Navy Reserve Maritime Expeditionary Security Squadron 6, and Inshore Boat Unit 22. His other flag assignments include Deputy Commander of Naval Surface Forces, spanning the surface type team commanders of the U.S. Pacific and Atlantic fleets as a plank owner and the deputy commander of the re-established U.S. Second Fleet and as vice commander, U.S. Fleet Forces Command. He also has the honor of having his ship named after his father, grandfather, and several other members of his family, the uh, USS Mustin DDG-89. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome the Vice Admiral John Musk. Well, thank you very much, XO, and thanks for the extemporaneous addition to the bio there. Appreciate that. And good morning, Recruit Training Command staff, family, friends, and our soon-to-be fleet sailors. I'm Vice Admiral John Huston, the Chief of Navy Reserve and the Commander of Navy Reserve Force. But most importantly, I want to share that I am thrilled and honored to join you for what is indeed a very special day for our Navy and, of course, a memorable day for our newest sailors. It's a great privilege for me to be here to welcome these 375 sailors into the world's finest Navy. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed our nation's civilians into trained and ready sailors. The program here has always been rigorous by design, demanding more from recruits than they themselves probably thought possible. I'll have more for that in just a minute. But first, I want to express my thanks to the recruit division commanders, the instructors, and the staff here. You, ladies and gentlemen, have prepared our next generation of warfighters well, so thank you very much. But don't forget that our job as leaders is never done. As these junior sailors go forth to their first ships, their first squadrons, their first commands, we are each charged with continuing to grow within them the Navy ethos to welcome them into our Navy family, 
to challenge them to continue the transformation that began here and to ensure they reach their full potential as sailors and as warfighters. To all the families and friends present today, I know our new sailors have not made this journey alone. You instilled the values to put them on this great path of service, and I can think of no better representation of the Navy Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment than those assembled before us today. So thank you, and welcome to our Navy family. Your work is not done either. Please know that your continued support on their journey is essential to the future success of all who pass before the dais today. Finally, to our newest sailors. I know each one of you stands proudly before me filled with a well-earned sense of accomplishment. You have each stepped forward to answer the call to duty, setting yourself apart and serving a noble cause greater than yourself. You have proven yourself worthy of the uniform that you now wear. While this milestone is a great accomplishment, it represents only the beginning of your Navy career, a profession that will challenge and humble you, a profession that will set you apart from your civilian peers in the level of responsibility and the demands that are placed upon you, a profession that will forge you into the most capable, resilient, formidable versions of yourself. And at this point, you may be asking, what did I get myself into? Well, I can assure you, shipmates, the best is yet to come. As you move forward, you will gain more training and more experience, and with that experience, you will gain confidence as you take your place along the storied long blue line, the sailors of the United States fleet, the finest fighting force in the world. Then you'll experience what I found to be the most rewarding and satisfying profession in this great earth. I'll leave you with this. Defending our nation is dependent upon far more than the latest weapons, the latest technology, or the latest armor. The wars are indeed the envy of the world. Our greatest advantage is our people, the men and women who serve, and that's where you come in. As the father of our Navy, John Paul Jones, famously stated in 1776, men mean more than guns in the rating of a ship, and I know that to be true. You have all taken on the responsibility of defending our nation and are now prepared for that tremendous, awesomely professionally satisfying duty. Congratulations, sailors, and welcome aboard. Now let's get busy. Remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown Parking Garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit Gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this Liberty Call!